Here's an interesting project that I've had my eye on for quite some time. This is a 3D modeling software called Make Human, which is designed to help you create uh, human-like figures that you can use in Blender, you can later bring in and animate, and that sort of thing. We're going to have a look at the latest Make Human 1.01 today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's get started. Make Human uh, version 1.01 pretty much is a entry-level piece of software to help you to develop human-like figures. And it's really not as comprehensive as the free uh, DAZ Studio Pro. At least it's free for right now, but it's Windows only. I can't seem to get it working under Wine. But I wanted to, you know, be able to take some of my hand-drawn cartoon characters and stuff like that that I brought in Flash and then, and then, you know, use them as a basis for making models because I have a project that I might be working on uh, in the future. And this will allow you to be able to, you know, uh, make uh, anatomically correct uh, 3D figures. Now, when you first start the project, obviously it doesn't, you, there aren't any clothes on the uh, model. And basically, you know, you have an entry level figure here and you can, you know, uh, change its gender to a uh, female appearance or a male type of appearance. And just by, you know, tweaking some little buttons here, you can change uh, the character's age. And you can also, you know, do some other fun things with this. And uh, lots of really neat options included in here. You can, you know, change proportions and stuff like that. And, you know, you can pretty much design an interesting looking character. Now, um, you can also, you know, once you got the body shape of the character, maybe you want to go in and do some other little tweaks. And I mean, <laughs> the possibilities are endless with the software. Just in the modeling here, you know, we, we already talked about the, the main feature. Then, you know, there are gender preferences and there are a bunch of little dials that you can change to alter the appearance of your character. You know, you can... Um, you know, change the face a little bit, and you'll notice as I'm hitting the slider here with the age, I can give him uh, more of an age appearance, and then maybe change the shape of the character's head, and that sort of thing. So, lots of really interesting things that you can do with this. And, I mean, you'll notice here that uh, in we're, when we're going into this, under the, you know, under the, you have a, you have little categories on this side as well. Now, this also has genitalia as well. I, unfortunately, I'm not going to be covering that here. But uh, we've got the face controls here. And as you can see, you know, there are a number of things you can change. So we've already affected the head shape. We can uh, choose the head size. And there are a bunch of little sliders we can do to change that. Maybe, you know, work on the forehead a little bit. And, you know, just by left clicking, you can rotate the character around to see what it, you know, to see what those changes are doing. You know, obviously want to make this look as natural as possible. But so you can change a number of these things, you know. And so this has really moved quite a bit in the uh, right direction because I've had my eye on this project for some time. And before, you know, before this hit version one, you really couldn't do a whole lot with it, but it looks like now it's, it is getting a lot better, uh, than it had been. So, you know, you have a bunch of other options, such as the torso. You can change uh, the hips, stomach, buttocks, pelvis, arms, and legs. Uh, not sure what the uh, custom things do. And then, of course, you have, uh, some measurements as well. And you just choose the category that you want. And then it gives you other little sliders and that sort of thing. So it is quite comprehensive. And the modeling 
capabilities that this has is just crazy. All right, and then of course you can go into geometries here and you'll see there are a number of uh, clothes options. So, you know, you can just double click on an item here to uh, add uh, clothing to your character, which I think is pretty neat. Okay, you can also change uh, the uh, eyes. Really not a whole lot in here. There are some hair options available. And what's really neat is wherever your mouse is, and you roll your mouse wheel, it'll, you know, it'll allow you to, you know, uh, move the camera so it basically the basically the zooming feature uh, that this works with works very well with your mouse I wish Daz Studio could do it this way so I think this is a lot better here you can also uh, you know uh, configure the teeth and they give you some maps included with that there are some other topologies that you can uh, use here uh, it looks like there's just a male topology with this but the thing is you'll notice that it kind of reduced the appearance so I pretty much stick with the uh, default on this all right and then of course you know you can add eyebrows to your character and you'll see that it, just by double clicking it added that uh, it added that geometry there you can choose the eyelashes um, and then of course there's only one tongue option presently okay a bunch of materials are included in this and you know uh, this is where you can give your character um, a more lifelike appearance by uh, just clicking on one of these okay uh, you're gonna notice that the character has now changed from the default here all right, and then when we go to render this thing, I'm going to choose a resolution and then hit render on that. Now, obviously, this doesn't look completely lifelike. You know, basically, this software is pretty much designed with you being able to create the type of, you know, the type of character uh, that you'll want to work with and then uh, bring into Blender or some other mod modeling software at a later time. Uh, now, if I go into the posing and animate section, really, uh, this isn't completed. Uh, it seems in earlier releases they had, you know, little poses and stuff like that, but it doesn't give you that option in this release here. Instead, what it gives you is the ability to rig your character with bones. And then when you bring those into uh, Blender or any other 3D software that you're going to be using, then you have a fully rigged character that you can manipulate and pose in many different ways. And so, and the, what, what I think about this is, some of these JSON files that they have with this are for uh, making characters that you can bring into some of your video games. So if you're playing, you know, Team Fortress and that sort of thing, you know, you can make characters in this software and then bring those characters into Team Fortress and other uh, 3D games. I think they have a JSON file for, yeah, they have one for Xenotic. So if you're playing Xenotic, and we are playing Xenotic on a uh, Cup of Linux Gaming Night for the next two weeks, so uh, be sure to hit Cup of Linux stuff. Com. And uh, at any rate, you could make uh, characters with the software that you could pull into Xenotic. How cool is that? So, I mean, they have some, they have some really cool little options in here uh, for doing that. But the rendering, as I illustrated, you know, we did a quick render on this. Really not the best rendering. Uh, you know, not the most uh, lifelike in terms of uh, rendered characters. But the thing is, this is a step in the right direction. I really like what uh, Make Human is bringing to the table. Uh, this is something that's going to be very nice. And uh, as it evolves, we're going to start seeing you know, this becoming the premier, uh, you know, human figure modeling software. And it wouldn't surprise me if this project gets to a point where it will actually do better than what Daz Studio Professional does without having to go and buy all of this different content and that sort of thing to load into it. Pretty much with all of these uh, morph and, uh, you know, shaping uh, tools that they have available in this, um, it wouldn't surprise me if you would be able to, you know, um, build, uh, you know, uh, some really good content for this. But also, you know, uh, I think as more people become aware of this, there may be people that will eventually just create content and share with the community because we know we all know how good the free and open source community is. So it'd be very interesting to see a community 
you know, starting around the Make Human project where people are making and sharing uh, objects that people can bring in and use. That would be an awesome thing to see. So uh, definitely a step in the right direction. I got to say to uh, the Make Human team, this looks incredible for what you guys have been doing. I, uh, you know, I've been uh, watching this for over a year now, and uh, this has matured into something that's going to be very, very useful. It still has quite a ways to go. But it's really nice to see how to get this. And installing this is uh, very easy. If you visit on their website, they do have a dev package you can install in Ubuntu. Or if you're on uh, Manharo or an Arch-based system, it's as, just open up the AUR, just Yaourt Make Human, and uh, you can uh, download and uh, build this. They have a stable version, or you can uh, build this from Subversion to uh, get the uh, latest nightly releases and that sort of thing. Personally, though, I'd stick with the stable version. I tried and downloaded the nightly releases, and it just is, just is not as feature-rich as the stable edition. So, good job. Definitely well worth your time. There will be a link in the description. And if you want to discuss this, be sure to visit cupoflinux.com. That's where all of the action is happening at Cup of Linux. It's more than just a YouTube show. We've got a full forum. We've got a community with live chat, people uh, talking around the clock on there, and all kinds of really great activities. So hit cupoflinux.com. Well, that's all I have on this. As a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts to bring you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coin. Peace out!